Hi everyone. It's uh, 11:30 and I'm gonna eat egg, boiled egg. Let's continue our diet, guys. <laughs> and it's hot. It's uh, 95 degrees right now. We're here in Kentucky. Um, I'm just trying to bring some food from home and put it in the cooler that way. I really try to avoid to go inside the truck stuff if I can. Unless I want to have some coffee when I start uh, driving. That's the only way I want to go in the truck stuff. Because, you know, this uh, virus is still going on really bad right now so just I'm just being careful Carl is eating a watermelon I'm gonna eat that later when I get down <laughs> anyway guys Oh, you know what? I don't like a uh, yellow. Honey, can you give me water? <laughs> I don't really like the yellow, eh? The yellow yolk. Because I get choked, but I like it. Mm. Good, the watermelon is good. We always carry this besides our pump alcohol over there. I'm gonna continue eating first because I can't tell my story. <laughs> While I'm eating, I get distracted. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me do my story here without you interrupting me. Okay, guys. Uh, let me continue with my happy story. <laughs> so happy I could cry. <laughs> no. um, anyway... My uh, father and uh, my stepmother came and visit into the island, right? And uh, I didn't feel like they were, you know, he was my father at all. You know, it's just like a family visiting us, I guess. And then uh, I heard the under conversation, you know, we're all just right there in uh, one living room because you know how it is, the Nipahat. It's like you, your kitchen is here and your living room and that's it. And then they said that they, they're going to take us uh, to Manila with them when they leave. And, uh, oh, I mean, it was, it was so sad. I feel the sadness because grandparents really is just like a, a parents to me. And all of a sudden to me it's like, this is stranger people gonna take me away from them you know don't remember how old I was at this time I'd say maybe uh, nine I don't know because I didn't have no birthday anyway uh, and then uh, I stayed long you know and then this uh, boat you know the mini mini boat we, we call it banka and so we're all saying goodbye and my grandma was so sad you know, just 
Ayang my grandpa didn't really show a lot of emotion. My cousin was so sad too. All of us was so sad and oh man, I I started uh, crying as this boat just moving away. You know, it's an hour ride from this island to uh, Big City. As a little kid, you don't really know how you feel, and you cannot express it, really, uh, you know. And uh, so I remember uh, we got to this big island, we got into this big uh, ship, barco, we call it barco, diba? Sa Bisaya. And then uh, I remember looking out, you know, there's in the barco, in the, ba in the ship, there's all kinds of small benches like bed you know and we, we all like uh, in one bed and then I remember looking out the window you know it's just so sad like I, I feel so lonely all the sudden because at that time the Sun was gonna go down too you know and I was looking out the, the railing on the ship and I was thinking that uh, my grandma is gonna be in the ocean that time, and my cousin and my my grandpa they were they gonna look for seashell to eat, you know. So I don't remember how many days the ride in the ship, you know. It's just all I know is we got into Manila. And then uh, we, this place and Andres Bukid is the worst uh, squatter area, guys, that I've ever been. And the uh, houses in this uh, squatter area, guys, were right on top of each other, wall to wall, plywood, and thin wall, you know? And underneath these houses were like big swamp, you know, like a river. And under is a lot of water lilies. And uh, of course, what else over there, right? Human waste. Oh my gosh, guys, I miss my grandma. I cried myself to sleep because, like I said, you know, in the province, I can hear from our Nipahat the water, the ocean water, you know, and we have tours to the ocean along the bay before we get to the Sari Sari store in the province, but this place in San Andres Bukid was so chaos, and it was so many people, and you know, they have this little uh, bridge, a house to house, like that, it was really totally, totally different environment guys and uh, and there you know when I got there you know I, my sisters there and my uh, stepbrother were there and we all live in this little one uh, room pretty much one room and inside the one room there was a wooden bed Katri, right we just I sleep right there on the floor and I tell you what I miss everybody in the island I miss my grandpa my cousin because in the island bamboo bamboo flooring right you know when we sleep peeping first and then my grandpa and then my grandma and then my little brother and me and all of a sudden I have this you know, different people around me, it's just like, I start, I, I really can't tell you how I feel, it just, we cannot, I feel at that time, I cannot ask questions, I cannot get mad, I cannot show them an attitude, you know, and then they told me that uh, I'm gonna go to school, so, you know, that's another thing, and the next day, I saw my sister, and uh, my stepbrother wearing a uniform. Wow, that was um, impressive for me because me and my cousin in the province, 
we didn't go to school. So wow, they're gonna have this. I'm gonna have this uniform. As a as a kid, I was just happy to go to school, you know. So, but that year I didn't get to go to school yet because I guess I got there late. You know, I I, I didn't understand that yet at that time, right? So, but during during the day when my father goes to work, he works as uh, as a construction worker anyway. In the big company, they call it DMCI. I, I remember that. And uh, because he had a shirt, it says, you know, DMCI. And uh, during the day, just me and my little brother and my stepmother. Guys, I tell you what, I hate to say this. That's when the training is, uh, started to do the job that my uh, stepbrother and my sister or her that they didn't want to do okay so she just just brought us there to do all the crap that uh, pretty much to be their little slaves that's how i feel about it and then i keep thinking back what my grandma's doing there now she didn't have no help anymore you know and my grandpa didn't have no help anymore but my cousin you know, started re rebellious right there. It's like it was just a rebellious right off okay, as soon as uh, I got to know these people. You know? Yeah. Because right there, she thought she showed us where to get to get some water, and you have to walk to this little bridge, narrow, narrow bridge, that you need to be careful because this bridge is not even put together right. And he she, she showed us where to uh, get some water outside and, and this is a long walk sa labasan call, they call it labasan you know and that's where the main faucet were and then where the main uh, bathroom for everybody just about the whole town and that area right there there's uh, the, the barangay I guess they made a bathroom just for everybody to use because you're not supposed to uh use uh, no bathroom in your in your uh where you live because it's swamp like water lily there and there's all kinds of tilapia <laughs> there was all kinds of tilapia there i remember but we want to use the bathroom number two we have this uh portable one arenola guys okay and so the next day that was my job to take this crap the porta portable to go to this uh, big bathroom uh, right right there outside your your uh, town i mean i guess you're outside this uh, neighborhood and you're gonna have to line up everybody's carrying their their uh, just to dump that shit there and people were nasty i remember oh i remember they just dump everywhere and that was my job when i got there in uh, uh San Andres Bukit and my brother early in the morning had to put all this container to get in line so me get some water that's that was our life there guys and then if we don't get up early because uh, my sister and uh, my stepbrother uh, do, to go to school uh, if I don't get up early my stepmom would would stand right there on my foot and she would just twist her foot against my foot and like hurting me and that means I need to get up that was her like saying that I need to get up because she don't want to say it loud because uh, I guess she don't want to say it loud what she's doing to me because maybe she don't want me to cry I don't know why she was doing that silently because my own grandparents so bad because you know uh, me and my cousin doing it together in the province, my grandpa and everything. And now, all of a sudden, we're here in this woman that I don't really know, you know, and, and doing this to me silently. And then when my father came home from, from uh, oh, she was so nice. Die, die, go, go to the store, die, buy this... Uh, buy some sardines all yeah and when it's time for us to eat when all the brother my little brother 
go to the store dong ondo so nice boys ondo go to the store buy coca cola do before we eat and then so we all gonna be in this uh, we don't even have no table guys we're all just right here on the floor where we sleep and then we all have our cups right and uh, so this uh, coca cola to all of us six of us okay but guys you can see you can see on her son glass she got he got more coca cola and in, in his glass than compared to all of us and that's when i realized that oh no you know that's when i i observe it right away that you know she favor more her own son than all of us my grandma and grandpa never treated me and my cousin and my brother like that whatever we can eat right there is is that's what we're gonna have you know equally how many sweet potato gonna have each each of us like that but where where my father was i can see the difference already that they have this uh they, she already have her favorite and my father uh, my sister was his favorite oh my gosh my bra guys you know as a kid you don't need to be smart kid to realize that you're in the wrong place <laughs> right i was in the wrong place you know they have their then for me and my brother were not good so you know i tell you more about this guys there's more story to this okay and uh, i don't wanna bore you guys to death of this story and it takes so long now so i see you guys on my next uh story <laughs> lola's storytelling thank you guys for listening and everyone have a good afternoon or days or be safe out there okay bye bye